Now, as you probably know, we actually grow the trees, so we live and breathe hardwood. Building a deck shouldn't be a drama, but by the sounds of it, some people are having problems getting it done properly. I'll give you a few tips I've picked up along the way. I'll show you how to get the best out of it. Now, there's a lot of different ways to lay decking, but there's only one way to lay hardwood decking. Don't ever use pine floor joists. They will not last. Pine should only be used for making coat hangers. If you're using your hardwood decking, then you've properly done your research. Now, most of our decking is wider and thicker than most. Now, we also recommend using our extra wide and thicker floor joists. Now, the problem I'm seeing starts when the timber is delivered. Now, quite often it's being left outside. Dry timber left on the ground will take up moisture very quickly. Now, that's not a good start to the project. You really need to get it off the ground and into a shed of some description ASAP. The next thing is that you need to think about sealing the timber with an oil. Now there's two scenarios with oil. The first is that you use an oil with no pigment. Now this will seal the timber but will allow it to age to a silver colour. Now all hardwood and in fact all timber will eventually turn silver if you do not keep the oil slash pigment up to it. Now the second scenario is that you use an oil with a pigment of whatever colour you're trying to achieve. Either way, you should apply an oil as soon as possible to seal the timber. Now there's a large range of decking finishes out there. Read the product description carefully before using it and always test the oil on a few pieces of timber before you do the whole lot. When you order your decking, we recommend ordering at least 10% extra. Most decking is delivered as random length. The pack will come with lengths 0.9s up to 6 metres in length. Prior to laying, you are best to lay these boards out roughly by their length. Now most floor joists are usually set down at 450 centres and you have to join the decking boards on the floor joist. Therefore, you need to select the next board you're using carefully so as not to waste too much. If you start docking three to 400 mil off each board, you are going to run short. Now check to see that your deck is square. If not, you will have to lay up it. Make sure there is adequate drainage under the deck. Okay, with all that done and dusted, let's get started. I'm down in our planer shed where we produce all of this magnificent hardwood decking. Now I'll grab a few different timber species out of the waste bin and we'll set up on this pack of timber. This will give you a bit of an idea of the colours in our local hardwood. First up, we'll put a coat of oil on the decking. We'll do both sides and the ends to seal them. In this case, I'm using a clear decking oil with no tint. You can see now how the oil is bringing the natural colour out in the timber. Now I'll do the floor joist. Now it's very important to seal the floor joist. We're doing this to try and keep the weather from entering the holes and cracks in the top of the floor joist. These wider floor joists are sawn at 60 mil wide as opposed to the traditional 50 mil ones. Now these wider floor joists that we produce here are a must have for outdoor deck construction. Being wider, they make it easier to join your decking on. More importantly, they are stronger and far more durable. Being hardwood, you will have to pre-drill. Now I'm using a 3.5 mil drill countersinking tool. Because they're only 45 mil long, I'm going to pre-drill to a depth of 50 mil to match the screws. I'm using the 10 gauge by 50 mil long stainless steel screws on this 20 mil thick board. Now when you start screwing down wider and thicker boards, like our 24s and 27 mil decking, you will need longer screws. Now these particular screws are square drive, but I've also used the T25 torque drive head screws and they're also very good. Now if you're chasing screws, we have the correct ones available. To get the best coverage out of your decking, you need to lay the boards out by their length. Then when you're chasing the next board, you can grab the one that's very close to the right length you need. Now if you start cutting three to 400 mil off each board, you will run short. We've opened a fresh hole up in the timber from drilling it. Now I like to have a sauce bottle with decking oil in it. Place a squirt of oil down each hole. It lubricates the screw and it seals the timber because this is where the moisture will enter and this is where the deck usually fails. 
Let's go over what we've spoken about so far. Check the structure for square. Seal the floor joists. Seal the decking boards. Use our wider floor joists. Lay the boards out by length. Pre-drill, lubricate the holes. Because I've pre-drilled and lubricated the holes, I can set the driver to number two on the torque setting. This will be kind on the screw head and more importantly, kind on the timber. I'm using a 10 gauge by 50 mil long, 304 stainless steel decking screw. Do not use nail guns. Now to space the boards out, you can use those little plastic things from the hardware store, but I can never find five mil ones and our decking should be spaced five mil for our 90 mil wide deck and then go up to say eight mil for our 144 wide deck. Now I made these spaces here and if you like them, we have them available. Decking boards can be too close, but they cannot be too far apart. The bigger gap allows for expansion and contraction. And in this country, where we can get minus 10 and up to plus 40, dry for months on end and then constant rain, the decking will expand and contract more than you think. And more importantly, the gap allows the air to circulate around the board. Well, that looks pretty neat. Two screws into the 90 mil. I had plenty of room to join the boards because of the 60 mil wide floor joist. And I used three screws on the 140 wide board. Do the sums. Using two screws on an 86 mil wide board equates to about 22 screws per lineal metre. Now, if you only use two screws on the wide boards, you will use half the screws, but you will open yourself up to potential problems from the wider boards moving. And we all know that wider boards will move more than the narrow ones. So my advice is use three screws on the wider boards. In closing, check that the structure is square. Make sure there is adequate drainage. On delivery, keep the decking dry. Oil it ASAP. Use our wider joist. Lay your boards out by length. Pre-drill and use plenty of oil. String line your screw holes. Screw heads should be one millimetre below the surface. A deck done properly should last 30 years minimum. Now if you have any questions, you can call us anytime. <laughs>